to really just try and close off on that whole you know doomsday thing a lot of people are talking about 2012 the Mayan prophecies what's going to happen in 2012 now new researchers have come out and said it's not really 2012 it's 2011 and all this kind of stuff well you know you've got to ask yourself what did these Mayans know that we don't know and clearly they knew a whole lot that we don't know and unfortunately the Catholic Church, the Pope, was responsible for destroying most of that information and that evidence because it was, it was very, very powerful. The Mayan calendar was absolutely precise down to millions and millions of years astronomically into the past and into the future. They could track and, um, the, the heavens and their calendar for millions of years in either direction. And we lost all that information and that knowledge. We have snippets of that that we've managed to put back together from the the, the few documents that, that were saved. Um, but that was enough to show us that there was a wealth of knowledge and information that they were given by some very informed and advanced beings that gave them that knowledge and that information. We don't have that today. And um, that information tells us that every so many thousand years the earth goes through a cycle and enters a new era. Whatever that era is, what those cycles are, we still don't know. But one of those cycles is now supposed to come to an end in 2012 and hail in a new era. It doesn't mean that the world's going to come to an end. Maybe it is going to come to an end. Who knows? But for, for my, my beliefs are that I think we're going to see... the the end of the world as we know it and the beginning of a new era where a lot of dramatic changes are going to occur and dramatic changes on earth can only occur from outside intervention it, the changes will not occur from from within because the the powerful organizations on earth are too powerful and have a complete stranglehold on on, hu on the human race as their slaves they will not relinquish that that kind of power and that kind of control unless they are forced to relinquish that control. Now you've got to ask yourself, where is this kind of intervention going to come from? What kind of event will make them lose control? What kind of event will force them to lose control? And I'll leave that up to you to figure out. It could be a meteor, it could be a comet, it could be a solar flare that melts down all the communication and the money markets. Now remember that a solar flare, everybody says, well, it will fix the stuff up in no time. Well, it's not that simple. Because just like in the stuff of the universe, that 90% of the universe is made up of dark matter and we have no idea what that dark matter is, just like that in a solar flare, it's the invisible stuff that we don't understand that's going to cause the real damage. I'm going to take out the communication satellites and take out the world communication and money markets as we know it, not just for weeks or months, but poss possibly years. Now, if that happens, we are certainly going to enter a new era on planet Earth where we remove the power from those that are enslaving us and give the power back to those who have other answers, alternative energy sources, alternative theories of how human society should cohabitate. And from there, I believe, will come and evolve and rise from the ashes a new era and a new civilization on planet Earth. That's pretty much a simplistic view of, of how I see it.